for coming back to my channel. Today I'll share with you some tips for traveling with a baby. We recently went to California and we took Rourke on his first plane ride and there were a few things that I researched on the web and on YouTube that really worked for us and that I would like to share with you. This was a short haul flight from Denver, only three hours and a direct flight. So this tips may not work for you if you're gonna go on a long haul flight, which we are at, in a couple months. And um, I think there's gonna be different things that I'll have to do. Um, Rourke will also be a couple months older, so he'll be more alert and so forth. And I'll share those tips when the time comes for the longer haul flight. Uh, but for the short haul flight, I will share what we learned during this trip to California with you. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, help me get to 100. I am a couple subscribers away from 100 and it's making me really anxious and happy. And also don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave any questions on the comments below if you have any. So I will um, start now. Tip number one is to have no carry-ons. Before baby, we always traveled with carry-ons and we never checked a bag because it's easier to just go from the plane to your car or taxi or Uber driver, whatever it is that is taking you to uh, your destination. Um, and we hated waiting for luggage. We had some terrible incidents where our luggage got lost or we had to wait forever for it. And so we always only traveled with carry-ons. Now traveling with a baby is a little bit different because now we have so much more stuff to carry in addition to the baby. Um, so we decided on this trip to go with no carry-ons. Uh, on the longer haul flight that we have, the uh, check baggage are gonna be free. So we wanted to try that out and see what we we would prefer. We had a stroller, a car seat, a car seat base. Um, we were gonna be driving around LA, so we really needed those things. And having all of that, plus all the other items that we carried with us on board, like the diaper bag and one uh, backpack for us, uh, was enough to like keep us, you know, really um, busy making sure that we had everything and didn't lose anything. And so if it's your first trip, I would say check the bags, the 25 to $35, uh, you know, price is worth it having that peace of mind. And it really worked for us not having to worry about who's gonna carry what. It was just, you know, the stroller, and car seat and, and bays and, and the baby and <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> so tip number two, be the last one to board. Um, we have very different opinions on that, my husband and I, uh, prior to baby. My husband likes to be the first one to board so he can get comfy and, you know, get his space to for the carry-ons and everything. I always like to be the last one to board because I don't see the point. I'm gonna be waiting for people to come, to go in and sit down and put their stuff and, you know, I just, I rather stay outside the, the plane and then inside the plane getting hot and you know dealing aggravate being aggravated with other people but on this trip i think being the last one to board worked out for both of us because the baby was entertained we could walk around and we didn't have to sit on the plane for 30 minutes waiting for everybody to board and have to wait in line uh you know when you're boarding because everybody can't get their stuff straight and put their bags on the overhead compartment <sighs> that's one of the rents i have as a traveler if you, if you can't carry it by yourself then don't take it so anyway the third tip is to use a wrap carrier or um, a baby carrier of any type because you can stroll your kid into the airport but you need to have your hands free to go through security and to you know get your stuff out you can't be carrying a baby and then trying to get your stuff and put your shoes on and all that stuff so um having the wrap carrier really worked for us we use a baby katana I'll link um, in the description below um, but it worked out perfectly because I was able to just strap him on 
go through security with him strapped to me and then do everything with my hands and then also go through the airport and push the car the stroller with all of our stuff on top and underneath it and not have to worry about is he comfortable is he entertained and everything and he loves to be facing forward at this point where he can see everything so he's really happy on a baby carrier and it also helped when we were boarding the plane because you know when you're going through that narrow aisle in the plane um it helps not to have you know things on both of your arms like this um so i was able to carry stuff uh, my my baby uh, diaper bag um on my backpack on my back because it's a backpack my baby on a wrap carrier and then just carry any other loose things that i had in front of me so i wouldn't bump into anybody so wrap carrier that really worked for us the fourth tip i actually got this from youtube from uh, somewhere divine and it really worked for us um it was to carry a pillow uh, a regular size pillow um into the plane and i uh, have for the baby to sleep on. I know some people already travel with their pillows and I always looked at it like, why would you bring your pillow? Cause it's gonna get dirty and I'm a big germaphobe that way. Um, but <laughs> I was always like, you know, there's pillows at the hotel and why you're carrying that pillow. But actually for traveling with a baby, it really works because you can put it on your lap and you can lay your baby on your lap and if you have a toddler even you can lay the toddler across both you and your traveling partner if you're traveling with somebody else and that baby and toddler can sleep really well during the flight and be comfortable and you don't have you know you're not gonna get cramps on your arms from holding that baby's head also during um shaky takeoffs which we had it was really nice to know that his head wasn't getting banged up on like in my arms or on the arm seat and he was laying on the pillow comfortably he actually slept through, through takeoff and it was really nice to use it a while breastfeeding as well so carry that uh, pillow with you and another tip for that is carry a couple pillowcases with you so you can change it uh, once you get to the location and then have a fresh one to come home um, that way you're not you know the, all those plain germs you're not carrying that with you to your location and and so germophobe right <laughs> but yeah so a big pillow uh with extra pillowcases the fifth tip is to dress your child in a sleeping play or whatever is easiest for you to change their diaper for me is the sleeping and play because rourke lives in in those things at home and um i liked the ones now that um have the snaps on the bottom so i only had to take his legs out instead of uh, opening up through um through his chest when he can get cold um and i found that changing a diaper in a um plain bathroom was actually pretty easy it was not as cumbersome as i thought it would be the, the tip there is to only take what you need into the bathroom so i only took one diaper the wipes and the um di uh, the changing pad to put on the bathroom and that really worked out well for us the next tip is to feed your child often during the flight i waited to feed him until we got on the plane so i fed him right before takeoff and he was passed out during takeoff and then also i fed him during the flight and then i fed him 30 minutes before the descent of the plane when we were landing because um, that's the time where you have the most adjustment to the pressure in the cabin um, and that's when babies get the pressure in their ears that make them really cry um, so if you're feeding then the ma the jaw movements um, work on the ears to make them equalize um, so that really helped he didn't have any problems um with the pressure in the cabin and i think that it's usually uh worse uh for long haul flights um uh, so i'll have to see what i'll have to do there to make sure that he doesn't have those issues but during this flight i didn't have um, any issues with my ears and i have really sensitive ears for pressure um so i have to keep equalizing my my ears all the time so um since i didn't have it i know the pressure wasn't too bad and but i just made sure that to feed him 30 minutes before the flight uh landed and you know you know it's 30 minutes before because the flight attendants will will let you know
So the next tip is to carry your child's favorite book with you on the plane or whatever entertains them the longest uh, or for some period of time. Right now, Rourke really likes to look at books and look at pictures and colorful things. So I took this book, which is his favorite right now, Good Night Moon. It has, um, it's kind of like a small sized one, uh, which is perfect for the flight. It has really bright primary colors, which he really loves um, to look at and touch. Um, so I took this one on the flight. I think there's gonna be others that I'm gonna have to take for the longer haul flight. But this one, he just sat there for like a good 10 to 15 minutes just looking at the pictures, touching the book, and entertaining himself. So I think that was a very good to have with us on the plane. Along with books, I think you should have plenty of toys, uh, small ones that your child can play with and be entertained. Um, I brought the toys out one at a time, so he would um, have different things to play with every 30 minutes or so. Uh, we have one that has a little bit of a mirror in it, so he liked looking at himself, and there was a rattle that I also took, and I carried with me a couple teeter teeters and um, a plush and a plush lobby uh, blanket that he can he loves to hug when he's like sleeping. Um, so I had those things for him in the bag. I did end up using all of them, uh, which was good, but. Um, I did use quite a few so I would have I would think that you would um, carry one for maybe every hour that you're gonna be on the plane or maybe recycle I mean you know your child best so whatever works for them at home would be something that I would take in the plane with you if it's feasible and then lastly um, we cannot forget the adults in the flights um, and I get very cranky if I don't have food. I'm also breastfeeding. So another tip that I would have is carry snacks for yourself uh, for the plane because as we know, um, domestic carriers provide absolutely, you know, the bare minimal. And um, some of the snacks that they provide sometimes are not, um, are not gonna fill you and may not fit into your diet. As I said, I'm on a dairy soy free diet. Um, so, and I also am prone to prediabetes. So I have to be strict with what I'm actually eating. And uh, for the next flight, for the longer haul flight, I know we're gonna get meals on the plane and everything, uh, but I will also have snacks to make sure that I can go for 24, uh, 24 hours uh, without, you know, being hungry those are my tips for traveling with a baby please let me know in the comments below if you have any extra tips from the trips that you took where are you going next and uh if you're not going anywhere but you still like travel give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time